Leah Anderson creates worlds that Echo Designs found in natural systems. Leah, what inspires you? Possibility in the creative act. For example, if I have the opportunity to make an installation, the space is unusual. It's some kind of a room or some kind of a wall or things that aren't canvases and they aren't pieces of paper. I do think that I'm a painter at the core and then the installations are an extension of painting and they're really intended to be like a two-dimensional or flat thing sprouted and became three-dimensional and grew into real space and to me that suggests that ideas are alive and that we can watch them grow and we can nurture them and so I think there's a parallel that can be found between uh, the unseen world of ideas and the biological world of living things. What do you learn, or what do we learn, about the world when we, when we investigate that, when we investigate the biological nature of things? One of the things that maybe is a common experience for a lot of people is we sense that there's something more to our life. There's science, which is wonderful, and it explains a lot of things, but there are things beyond science that we sense that we can't really explain. So I think I like to ride that line between, you know, what's actually true versus what we don't know. And I'm so curious about how that world beyond the scientific world exists because we sense that it's there, uh, but we can't necessarily prove it's there. With Membrane Chain, um, it occurred to me that we can share ideas from one person's mind to another. For example, if I say yellow flower, I have a picture in my mind of that flower, but now you can make a picture in your mind of that flower, and those pictures might be different pictures, but they're related to one another. And somehow that information transferred from one place to another. It's like an energy or um, an idea has moved from one person's mind to another person's mind. So for Membrane Chain, I wanted to see if I could visually demonstrate what that might look like um, and have discussions about how information is exchanged. What I think is a piece of art represents ideas that the artist had and so once it's created it's sort of the tip of the iceberg of a huge body of information and many questions that that artist has sort of put all that energy into that one piece of art. It represents that artist's idea, it represents the artist's world that they live in, it represents the culture that they came from in many ways. Once it's created then the viewer can come to that piece of art and connect to it and it's sort of a reverse experience where then it leads that viewer into a whole nother world of ideas and so in that way art is a portal or a connector from one set of ideas to another set of ideas. Yeah, or one, and one experience to another experience, right? That's Definitely. What's important to you about your art? That I can keep asking questions, that I can keep experimenting. I grew up in a family where my, my, both my parents were pretty philosophical people. We talked a lot about existence and, and spirituality and things like that. And though both my parents were very verbal people, I don't think I'm 
particularly verbal person. I think I'm much more visual. So I think as time has gone by, I've realized that my work is attempting to make sense of those ideas you know, that I would discuss with my family. Um, it's sort of a way for me to explore the possibilities of what it means to be alive, what it means to exist, how are we here, how is it possible that uh, we experience the things that we do. Art provides this never-ending series of challenges and questions and results that lead to more questions. So it becomes sort of an exercise and a therapy and a way to make sense of things. Although the more you try to make sense of things, the less you really realize you know. I think it's, it's pretty amazing that we have the ability to be creative. I think uh, creativity is just an incredible quality that humans have that we can tap into to seek out answers.